Assalamu alaikum friends, welcome back to Civil Engineers YouTube channel with the new lecture. Dear friends, today uh, we are going to discuss about in this video lecture, quantity of floor. Many students, they have this question, how we can find material quantity or material estimation for floor in room or uh, in veranda, etc. So let's start. If this video is helpful for you, so must like this video and subscribe this channel with press bell icon to get notification for new video. Let's start. Quantity of floor. This is section in which we can find quantity of floor. So remember, we have here three layers. So the first one is from bottom, 10 centimeter brake ballast. We will find material for brake ballast, which is thickness is 10 centimeter. And the second one is 10 centimeter concrete, which ratio is 1 to 4 M20 grade concrete. We have to find material for M20 grade concrete, which thickness is 10 centimeter. And the last one is topping, which is just 4 centimeter topping, 1 ratio 2. And the topping should be done by cement and stone chips. And the stone chips is 6 millimeter size. Okay, let's start. First of all, you have to find area of floor if that is room or if that is veranda or any place first of all you have to find area of that surface or that place in which you have to find material for floor suppose i have to find material for floor different material quantity for floor which total area of floor is 30 square meter it can be changed if your place is different from this so you have to find area of your place where in the room etc any place okay so already we have thickness of different layers for brick ballast for concrete for topping and area of total area floor is 30 square meter now i will find quantity of brick ballast so first of all i will find volume of this layer then we will find quantity of bricks ballast okay so first brick ballast is equal 30 what is 30 30 is a surface area of floor right multiply 10 divided by 100 what is 10 10 is here thickness of the brick ballast and divide by 100 that's why because this is centimeter now we will convert it to meter when we convert it to meter so 10 centimeter divided by 100 it will convert to meter so it will come 3 cubic meter so we need 3 cubic meter volume of brick ballast for 10 centimeter okay now the second one quantity of concrete for second layer we required 3 cubic meter material brick ballast for top layer sorry for bottom layer okay now con quantity of concrete with m15 grade okay 10 centimeter is the thickness of concrete so here volume of weight volume of concrete weight volume of concrete is equal 30 30 is surface area multiply 10 divided by 100 same like this 10 is a centimeter now we will convert it to meter so 10 divided by 100 when you do calculation sometimes many students they have uh, question that sir your calculation is wrong so uh, it's not issue right you just learn the method okay you can use calculator uh, to find the uh, correct calculation so calcula calculation is not an issue just learn the method how we can find and how we can do it okay so 30 multiplied 10 divided by 100 is equal 3 cubic meter it weight volume of concrete is 3 cubic meter now we will convert it to dry material dry volume okay so i have already discussed in previous video that how we can convert weight volume to the dry volume because weight volume or weight concrete volume increase 54 percent of weight volume to get dry volume okay so here dry volume of concrete is equal 3 3 is a weight volume of concrete okay so 3 multiply 1.54 thing is in the description of this video what is 1.54 right so is equal 4.62 cubic meter is the dry volume of concrete now in this volume we will find quantity of cement and quantity of sand and also quantity of crush for this layer right now 
ratio of concrete is 1 2 4 okay sum of ratio become 7 1 is cement 2 is sand and 4 is crush or aggregate now quantity of cement 1 divided by 7 1 is I have to find quantity of cement so 1 is cement divided by sum of ratio sum of ratio is 7 here multiply 4.62 this one in this volume it will give us quantity of cement okay so volume of cement means 0 0.65 cubic meter or 0 0.65 cubic meter divided by 0 0.035 its volume of one bag cement is equal 50 kg in cubic meter it will give us 18 bags cement okay 18 bag cement or 0 0.65 cubic meter now we have to find quantity of sand okay so sand is here 2 so 2 divided by 7 multiply 6 4.62 this one it will give us quantity of sand 1.31 cubic meter and now quantity of crush okay so is equal 4 this is 4 4 divided by 7 multiply 4.62 4.62 is equal 2.62 cubic meter crush are required okay now the last one is topping the third one we can say okay topping we have to find quantity of material for topping and there are material cement and stone chips which is 6 millimeter okay size of the uh, stone chips is 6 millimeter now weight volume what is weight volume so 30 as a total area of floor multiply 4 divided by 100 4 is the thickness of the topping so we will divide it by 100 to convert it to meter so it will give us 1.2 cubic meter volume now we will change it to dry material so again dry volume is equal 1.2 multiply 1.54 because it it's increase 54 percent of weight volume to give you a dry volume so is equal 1.84 cubic meter now in this volume we will find quantity of cement and stone chips 6 millimeter size okay now ratio of that is 1 ratio 2 1 is cement and 2 is stone chips okay so sum of ratio become 3 right now quantity of cement 1 divided by 3 multiply dry volume 1.84 that one right it will give us 0.61 cubic meter or 17 bags cement are required for this layer right which total area is 30 square meter now the last one is quantity of stone chips so 2 divided by 3 multiply dry volume it will give us 1.22 cubic meter which size is 6 millimeter so this is the topic which i have discussed the front of you so if you have any question so you just comments i will try to reply your answer thanks for watching see you next video goodbye